Okay, my friends, so you're going to find this quite interesting. I do. I joined this group, Basic Physics. They got 315,000 subscribers here. Now, I tried to post and they, they won't let me post. Now, here's what th here, this is an admin put this up list of major unsolved problems, theory of everything, gravity. Hierarchy, strong CP problem, physics beyond the standard model. It goes all the way down all these things. So then I started to comment about it. And then they let me comment for a while, and then everybody went crazy and got really nasty. And, um, and Sam was the worst. <laughs> Roger, that is ridiculous. So I tried to keep going, but now they got me shut off. And um, and look at this now. This this post. Well, here's what's going on right now. I tried to post. Why is my post a problem? Well, manage posts. Let's see why it's a problem. Well, there is no reason. It's a problem. It's just a problem. They won't let me post. I said we all know about particle accelerators and colliders, but we are where? What are they intended to reveal? They're trying to find the smallest particles that exist. The real purpose is to find the tiniest particles that make up the nucleus, so we can determine how protons form and what they are made of. Experts say quarks and many, many names for the particle zoo, that they have a particle zoo, they call it. The plans are now foot to build a new collider that will be three times longer than the LHC, and it will be capable of smashing, this is there for, right from their article, capable of smashing particles of significantly more energy. Well, I don't see that's any big deal. In the past few decades, particle colliders have become a key tool in unraveling the mysteries of the universe. CERN and Fermilab et al., this is my words, have seen these bits in debris and cannot understand them, so they just say, give us more money is, is the solution. I say it is best to start with the smallest particles, which are light, and then accelerate those and smash the bits, which exactly what we did. What do you think? Can't post, not allowed. This was my other one that was declined. Same thing, hello to all, I'm very glad to be here. Hello, I'm being a nice guy. These are some experiments we did using pulse laser tuned venturis captured with CMOS. It's complementary metal oxide silicates. It appears to be light particles and they are dipoles and to make up a photon. What do you think? <laughs> Declined. Won't let me post. This is supposed to be basic physics. This is light from a pulse red laser. That's what those particles are. We see them perfectly. CERN and, and Fermilab, whoopsie, not available. They won't let me post. That's done. This was just as bad. 1.7 million members, and they let me post. And as soon as I did, everybody went crazy. What do you think? What kind of question is that? <laughs> Science doesn't work by a show of hands on Facebook. We know what we're talking about. We're all geniuses. People are limited to commenting every five minutes on this post. It was my. It sounded like a pinball machine when I first posted. One point nine thousand comments in a couple of days. I mean, they just went crazy on me, and every one of them basically was nasty. It was a few that were reasonable. This is what upsets me. First phase of Europe's huge new atom smasher. Twenty years from now, maybe they can. They're going to build this gigantic thing. It's like I, I can't remember how big it is, but this is the LHC right now. It's gigantic. They want to do this, covering half of Europe. <laughs> it's, it's a twenty seventeen mile circumference. That's the LHC, seventeen miles. This is way bigger than that. It's a hundred kilometer underground tunnel. The other one was 27. This is a hundred. It's four times bigger. And the plans are now afoot to build this new collider three times longer than the LHC of being able to smash particles with significant energy. In the past few decades, particle colliders have become the, tea, the tool to unraveling the fundamental particles. Fundamental. What does fundamental le level mean? What does that mean? 
All right, fundamental means the core, the base, the central importance, the central point of importance, a central primary rule or principle on which everything is based. And right now they have no clue what the fundamentals are. See this, they want to unravel the mystery of the fundamental level. Well, I unraveled it quite a while ago. I've right, shown this hundreds of times. These are the fundamental particles. These are the smallest fundamental particles that exist from Fermilab and CERN. They see them, but they see them in a pile of debris. We see them form, separate, and join back together. Okay, just pay attention to this. This is the X particle from the dawn of time detected. And I think they've seen a hundred of these short-lived X particles at the hard Large Hadron Collider. Don't forget, they're smashing huge bits and pieces together. And they're seeing all these debris, and they've detected these X particles, which they, they don't know what they are. They are just chunks. All right, see what it says here? A hundred of these particles have seen, and they're named X particles because they're unknown structure. They were spotted for the first time amid trillions of other particles. There's nothing but debris, just a bunch of garbage, and they're looking through them trying to find what they consider to be, you know, exotic particles. Now, this happened at the CERN, the Large Hadron Collider. Now, listen to this. These X particles, which likely existed in the tiniest fractions of the second after the Big Bang, were detected inside a roiling broth of elementary particles, nothing but debris, called a quark-gluon plasma. Quark-gluon. The quarks are, don't exist. Gluons are just two basic electrons back to back, which is a gluon is, is really an electron, basically. And then you take two gluons, and that makes a photon. So I was wrong a second ago. Gluons are the most basic electron. It's got a white and a black. That's a gluon. You took two gluons together, it makes a photon. And these are, they found it in this plasma. Now, they use lead ions. They think that makes a difference. That makes no difference whatsoever. Everything there is, is made of the electron neutrino and the muon neutrino. This is where they get to a CERN, an exact same place we got to. A muon neutrino is attached to an electron neutrino, the black and the white. The muon goes on its own way and the electron turns into showers, electron showers. That's exactly what we did here. Prior to them turning into that, they came down here as particles. First of all, the particle is inside the wave. Okay, it's in here and it has a magnetic field around it, so it makes a wave. Particle, wave, duality. Now the particle is accelerating outside the wave, coming like a jet fighter, and here it be splits and creates the muon neutrino and the electron showers. They come back together here. That's fission and fusion. Coming out of here, they create these Higgs fields. All right, light slows down. This is blue coming in hot here and slowing down down here. These are the actual particles, the black and white particles. And this is something that nobody has yet explained except me. <laughs> because this is photons and this is antiparticles. It's a reverse spinning photon. They're supposed to come out like this in these Higgs fields. That one came out backwards and created this when it interacted with another Higgs field. Now this is the big deal. They just got a big chunk of X. It means nothing, absolutely nothing whatsoever. They take huge particles like this and they bam, and they just break into a million shards of glass, literally. And what happens is these particles smash together and they get a chunk That'll be an X. It'll just be a glob of stuff. They want to get down to this. We started with that. So we don't have to look through all this garbage. Trillions of particles, and they found a hundred of these. This is amazing that they've spent hundreds and billions of hundreds of billions of dollars, probably trillions, to do what is just quite obvious. All they have to do is look, and they refuse to.
It's not that they, I can't get through to anybody. I've gotten through to them. They say, don't ever contact us again. We will not look at what you have to present. That was exactly what was told to me from Fermi Lab by Don Lincoln. All right, you saw the same particles. They're identical. No difference whatsoever. This goes back to 2013. I contacted him, oh, I don't know, a year or two later. And this is Don Lincoln's part of the article. Don Lincoln. Exactly what I showed you. Identical. Refuses. And I, I contacted him. We made contact. We talked back and forth. And he just said, don't ever contact, contact me again. You're a tinfoil hat guy. And that was it from Lincoln from Fermilab. They don't care about the truth, they just care about funding.